All right, so part two of the introduction of Benedict Carey's How We Learn. Um, it's pretty short, so I'm gonna keep this video short as well. So it talks a little bit about how he began in his early career to study the science of learning. And initially, it wasn't the science of learning that he was uh, studying specifically, but he was sort of reporting on cognitive science with the Los Angeles Times and then later on with the New York Times. And he kept uh, getting some, you know, as he was doing this study, he was, he was getting a lot of surprising findings. So he says, wow, that, that's unusual. That's a little bit counterintuitive. So, for example, distracting yourself while you're studying can actually be helpful. Napping can be helpful. Quitting a project before it's done can actually help to uh, make uh, a project linger longer in the memory. Taking a test on the subject before you know anything about it actually helps with subsequent learning. And so all of these sort of uh, unexpected results, especially for somebody who you know, I described in the first video as being sort of a grinder and a hard worker. He's, he's learning about all these small tweaks to learning that are actually quite surprising. And in fact, that reinforce a little bit more his college learning where he's going out and skiing and spending time chatting with his friends instead of focused memorization. Um, his habits of learning that he had in college rather than his habits of learning in high school are in fact in line with uh, brain science. And so he begins to look for some unifying principles that sort of tie together somehow all of these sort of disparate theories about like study location. Is it better to study in one location or in several locations actually, as it turns out, it's several locations, which is a little bit counterintuitive because one would think, well, I have my one specific place. I'm in my office as I, um, as I study this material. And what he's finding is that, in fact, it seems that it's not a recipe, do this and you will receive that, but rather integrating learning and knowledge into a sort of way of life. Let the brain inhabit the material, talk about it, sleep on it, revisit your memories. Um, and the brain, in fact, is sort of a, an odd, eccentric, quirky thing and sort of uh, being very rigid with the brain actually does not help our learning. So we're going to read more in part three of the introduction. All right, thanks.